think we should start out every video with you in the beginning snuggling me. Oh, oh, what a good boy. Ah! Ah! Hey, what's up you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about Momo, you can't rub your face on my camera. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about something that we hated to do as children and that is wake up early. Can I trust you to be on the ground without hitting the camera? First, let's talk about why it could actually benefit you to get up early in the morning. Waking up early can change the entire start of your day. If you're someone like me who likes to sleep in, then you know the feeling of waking up at 8 when you have to leave at 8.30. As a college student, this is something I usually struggle with. I don't normally have classes that start at the same time every day, so I don't usually wake up at the same time every day. I mentioned in my last video that waking up early and creating a morning routine can actually help your productivity, and I stand by that. On days that I wake up early, I usually feel more accomplished and like I got more done. If you have work or school in the morning, you can use the extra time that you would have in the morning if you woke up for your hobbies or to get some extra work done. That way later on in the day, you'll actually have more time to relax and wind down. But none of this actually matters if you can't get out of bed in the morning. So let's dive in on how to do that. It can be hard to make a big change like this to your routine. So if you want to make something like this happen, you have to know why you're doing it. You're not going to be successful at getting out of bed in the morning if you don't know why you're doing it or what you want from it. If you do have those reasons of why you want to get out of bed early in the morning, what you want to accomplish, then it might be enough to get you that initial push out of bed. To help yourself with this, you can write a list every night saying what you want to do in the morning so it's fresh in your mind when you wake up. Something that I find important to wind you down at night is to create a night routine. This will let your body know that it's time for bed. I like to do a skincare routine, you know, brush my teeth and get some water and maybe read a book before bed. A nighttime routine can actually help you fall asleep. I struggle with this all the time, but I find that if I actually stick to my nighttime routine, then it's easier for me to actually fall asleep. Now when it comes to your alarm, it's pretty easy to shut off your alarm while you're mid-sleep and not even remember it. I have seen my boyfriend get up, try to get up early in the morning, turn down the volume of his alarm, but it's still going off and he just goes right back to sleep and he doesn't even remember doing it. If you have a problem with snoozing your alarm or constantly messing with it like my boyfriend does, I would put your phone across the room. This forces you to get out of your cozy warm bed that you really don't want to get out of and turn it off. And this will generally work as long as you don't lay down again afterwards. Also, if you plug in your phone across the room, this might prevent you from scrolling through your phone all night, maybe keeping you up. And speaking of wake up times, since this video is for people who don't normally wake up early or maybe trying to start that in their lives, I suggest finding out what time you normally wake up at and adjusting that by 15 minutes every day. Let's say you wake up at nine o'clock and you wanna start waking up at seven. Adjust it by 15 minutes earlier every day that you wake up. This idea is to prevent your body from being shocked into waking up way earlier than it normally does and usually that can result in failure of this new habit. However, some people do think it's better to actually shock your body and instantly get used to the new wake up time than slowly progress. It really depends on you and your style. You could try both, see which one works better for you. Whichever strategy you use to get to that wake up time that's your goal, uh, you have to keep waking up at that time. Being consistent is absolutely key to waking up early and that means weekends too. The longer you do it, the more your internal clock will get used to it and at some point you'll start waking up before your alarm. It'll become more natural, it'll feel less horrible in the morning and just the longer you do it, the more you get used to it. So it's easy to understand if you're not fully committed to creating this habit, you have a high chance of failing at it. That's why it's key to have a really good reason to start waking up early in the morning and to stick to that reason and remind yourself of that reason. This leads to another reason and that is get enough sleep. I think that's pretty obvious, but you know, some people really want to go to bed at 1 a.m. and then wake up at 5 a.m. and that's just not sustainable. You need sleep to function. If you want to make this habit a long-term habit, then you have to get enough sleep. So that means going to bed earlier and that may suck for a little bit, but it's all about adjustment. And my last tip for you all is the same last tip that I'm gonna give in the previous video that I just filmed 
which is keep coming back to content like this. Keep reminding yourself on why you wanna do it, how to do it, get your motivation up. So now that I just told you a bunch of random advice, let me tell you what I do before bed and in the morning to help get myself out of bed. Before bed, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, drink some water, read a book. I also set my alarms and think about what I'm gonna do the next morning. In the morning, I wake up to my alarms, force myself out of bed, feed my cat, drink some coffee, make some breakfast, clean up and plan out my day in my planner, maybe get a head start on some work, and then just get ready for the rest of the day. All right guys, I hope you found some of this information useful. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts if you're interested. I post a lot of my cat, which I don't care if you don't like it, it's gonna happen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications because I post every week or I try to post every week. All right guys, I love you to the end of space and back. Bye.